Hey guys, it's David from Automotive Press. I'm super excited to be here at the electric show uh, with Adam from General Motors. Quick intro, Adam. Yeah, so I'm Adam Rodriguez. I run product for our AV team at General Motors. We're both mechanical engineer by background, so excited to talk about some number of things with General Motors. I used to work for GM, if you guys remember that. Um, but tell me a little bit more about autonomous technology, specifically adaptive cruise control and your super cruise, which has evolved over the years. Tell me what has changed from the very beginning until where we are today. Right, so it's been, a, it's been quite a journey, right? We launched Super Cruise in 2017. We were the first automaker to do that. The first automaker with hands-free driving technology. Uh, and you know, it's been honestly a very iterative process. Like mm -hmm. as an engineer, as you understand, yes. right? We don't yes. just launch yeah. one thing. There's a constant improvement, a constant iteration. Changes, yes. uh, and so when we went from hands-free on one vehicle, now we're on 23 vehicles. That's yes. going to double this year. Oh wow! Uh, we increased okay. our mapped roads from what was probably a much smaller number to mm. almost 950,000 kilometers of mapped, ro mapped roads across North America and uh, Amazing. Canada. Amazing! Um, Amazing! And so there's yeah. a lot of and also feature improvements, right? Around right. Uh, we, we do hands-free trailering, which is something that no other automaker does. And what do you mean by free hands-free trailering? Right. So uh, Super Cruise today, yes. uh, you can take your hands and feet off the road, off the okay. wheel, once you're on a mapped road. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and once that light bar turns green, you can kind of sit back and relax. You're still responsible for paying attention to the road, but sure. it's a very comfortable and relaxing experience mm. because you know we've done a lot of the hard work to map that road and understand like the intricacies of that road. And I so see. we actually launched the feature where we can act you can actually pull a trailer while doing it, uh, which is I like see. a common ask for a right. lot of our customers. I see. So tell me a little bit about the safety factors. Like, how do you make sure that car is actually following the road and not going to try to? Get yeah. off the road when there's exit, or for example, like right. sometime in the more primitive adaptive cruise control, they get confused a little bit. Right. But in your iteration, what makes it stay on the road? So a lot of it honestly comes down to like the fact that we've been doing this for almost a decade. Okay, I see. Uh, yeah. Much longer than any other automaker. Yes. Uh, and so it also comes down to the fact that we have significant number of high definition mapped roads also. I see. So we okay. understand the exactly where the vehicle needs to be on that mm. road. Uh, okay. And then it's just like we said, a constant iteration, understanding lane lines, understanding mm. features on the road, and really just, just kind of focusing on that performance. And just to clarify, it's all hands-free, right? You don't have to touch the steering at all. That's right. Uh, no brake, no accelerator, because once you touch something, or once you touch the brake, or accelerator stops, obviously. Right. Or cancels, I should say. It'll cancel and, yeah. and, and allow you to take that. Right. Yeah, well, amazing. Right. So thank you so much, Adam. Look forward to driving one of your cars. Yeah, absolutely. Right? Thank, yeah, you. thank you so much. Yeah, good time.